A critical aspect of auger cast piling is the insertion of reinforcing steel. Some soils can cause the grout to stiffen prematurely, not allowing the steel to freely drop to the bottom of the pile. A common attempt to solve the problem is to employ set retarding or set controlling admixtures, but we will show that set retardation is not the solution to the problem. The answer is water retention. We'll make two grout mixes, one with a superplasticizer and a set controlling admixture, and the other with Intrusionade Max, a water retentive grout fluidifier. Along with typical tests for workability, we'll also perform three different tests for water retention. The first is part of the ASTM specification for grout fluidifiers. Second, a pressure test designed to simulate the weight of the grout on itself at the bottom of a pile. And last, an auger pile mock-up. Both mixes use the same mix design and water cementitious ratio. The ASTM water retention test, C941, utilizes a vacuum pump and a special funnel called a Buchner funnel. The funnel is lined with a filter paper and then filled with grout. The vacuum pump is set up to create a suction and pull water out of the grout. The amount of water pulled after five minutes of suction is measured and the grout's compared. As you can see, with the plain grout, about 45 milliliters of water has been pulled out, and the entire grout sample in the funnel is rock hard. With the water retentive grout, using Intrusionate Max, the results are dramatically different. Less than five mils of water are measured and the majority of the grout in the funnel remains fluid. Another consideration is the force applied by the grout's own weight all the way to the bottom of the pile. A test was developed at Speccrete to simulate that pressure. A pressure of 40 PSI is applied to each grout for one minute. Minimal water can be seen being pushed from the grout with Intrusionade Max, and after one minute, the majority of the grout remains fluid. With the plain grout, once the pressure is applied, you can see the water being pushed out immediately, and the grout is rock hard in the same one minute time. And lastly, we wanted a way to see what is actually happening underground at the grout to soil interface. Since we can't look inside a deep auger cast pile, the next best thing would be to create a scaled down mock-up. We created a pile in a dry soil condition where you can actually watch what happens to the water in the grout. Again, we compared our two grouts. On the left, the grout with a super plasticizer and retarding admixture and on the right, the grout with Intrusionade Max, the premium water retentive grout fluidifier.